guys, so today I've got this Armstrong 17 to 42 inch swivel tilt TV wall mount. Part 64238. Now I know I had those, I showed a big screen TV mount, but we've got so many computers tracked into a small area, we wanted to get a wall mount for this one. So it's zip tied on for shipping. This is more to protect it from being scratched, which is kind of weird, but whatever. So here's the wall mount. So this goes on the wall. So it'll swivel back and forth, and this will swivel back and forth. And there is some adjustments this way. So tilt a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little. Exploded view diagram. They do give you wall sockets mounting in drywall. Uh, I recommend you not use those. Those inserts in drywall with something heavier like this probably aren't going to work. I've never had good luck with those. They do give you these for mounting into a stud. So what you should do is put this on the wall in front of a stud, drive two of these in, you'll never have a problem as long as you hit the stud. They give you a bunch of different size screws for different TVs. So you have to check your TV. Now we have to put this on here. So take these side screws out. So there is a top and a bottom. The square side is top, and that's where you put these hooks on to try to stabilize it. So what you want to do is hook those on, get these, and put in. Those are basically stabilizing, retaining screws. There's a lot of difference in size between the slot and that. So let's see what we got. Let's see, we still have a, enough to put a finger through there. So those are just stabilizers. Keep it from sliding off of that mount. So as you can see, a lot of room left over so that's just a stabilizer but it's necessary if not safety issue of this sliding off not likely but it's possible so you loosen these you can see that provides tilt so i'll leave that alone until i mount it now it's a universal fit you just find the hole pattern that mates up with your tv there's three different sizes of screws because there is no standard screw size for tvs so find the four screws that fit your TV and match up the holes and mount it. It's supposed to be universal and it's supposed to fit all. We'll see about that. But we're going to put a 24 inch on this and it's 17 to 42. 42, depending on what kind it is, that might get a little big for this. If I was on a 42 inch TV, I would use one of the bigger mounts. So I got me a TV with what's called a Versa mount. So it's got the four holes here. So I'm going to lay that face down because I don't want to damage the screen. I have the mount. And this is the top because of the two hangers. So what I want to do is lay this down and find a hole pattern that matches. Ooh, gotta go way so it's got four different hole patterns, plus a couple more, but basically four right here, and it's the second to the smallest. So that's how it's going to mount. Monitor didn't come with the screws, but our website gives you four different size screws. So I think that this is the three sizes they have. Big fat, Medium, small. I think this one's going to take the small. Oh, the small will not thread in there. I think there's a smaller, so there's four sizes. Ah, we have a winner. Well, those don't look like they fit that tight, but as long as you get them snug and it holds down the mount, you'll be fine. So I want to make sure I got the top on the top. Line up that second to the smallest pattern. 
I'm going to use a screwdriver because I think I have more control lining these up. See, that looks like they're a little loose in there, but as long as they snug up, and they do, you'll be fine. I'd like to have lock washers, but they don't give them to you. They do give you washers, but not lock washers. So that's all nice. This is the tilt mechanism, and this is nice and tight. But the problem comes in right here. This covers up the power. Now the problem is how am I going to get a power cord in there? I could cut the end off of this. That's probably what I'll end up doing, but let me go get a power cord first. So this is pretty much a standard power cable for computers. Hmm. I could probably get that to work. As you can see, it'll almost go in there. But I probably have a debate. If I modify the cord, am I changing the electrical characteristics of the cord? Actually, in this case, I don't think so. But the alternative is to cut off the end of that. And I actually think that there is a ridge here that if I get rid of a little bit of that ridge, it'll work. So I think I'm just gonna shave that corner right there. I know there's some people out there cringing as I say this. Okay, so if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Just cut that corner. But I want to try this first. I actually think, I think that this size, I think that's more a flange to keep it from going in too far than anything else. So if I just kind of shave this end, I'm sure there's people out there cringing when they see me do this. I encourage you to have a master electrician install your TV. There we go. I want to say again, that is a flange to keep it from going in too far. So I just shaved off the flange. I didn't really want to cut that. I don't know what I want to do with that mount in the future. There we go. Now, I only put two of those in. I need to put the other two in. Use all of them. There's four. Okay, so there we go. That's it mounted on the TV. And you can look at this and kind of decide how you're going to do it. If you take these out, I put these in to show you how that mounts, but if I take them out now, if I take these out, I can now mount this to the wall. Okay, so the plate's on. So important thing about this mount is it has a square side and a round side. The square side goes up because once you get this mounted to the wall with the square side up, you hang it on those two hooks and that'll support this while you get it the rest of the way ready. And the rest of the way is putting these two screws in the sides and that ties it all together and keeps it steady and then you can adjust these screws to adjust the tilt. It doesn't have very much tilt but it has tilt and you want to Above all else, you want to not bother the TV screen and put any marks in it. So don't lay it on the screen. It looks like I'm laying it on the screen, but actually there's a half inch or there's a quarter inch lip here. So let's go mount it on the wall. The lighting in here isn't very good, but this is our server stack here. Um, we need a monitor to go with this. And we want to mount it on the wall. Keyboard's up there, mouse is there, but I've got stud finder, funny story, I went to use this and the battery was dead, 
And I figured out I bought it 22 years ago and put a 9 volt battery in it. Finally went dead. I last used it about a year ago. So let me be sure I got the square side up. And what I'm going to do is mount that here so that I can swing it this way. That way that'll work really good with the rig. Now that might be a little high. I'm going to throw it out there. So I've got my Bauer 20 volt lithium impact driver and very happy with this. Side up. That's the good part about this. I can just hang this on there. It's going to be wobbly until I get the next piece on. That's going to fill this space very well. And it's going to be very usable from the servers. Okay, so you mount these side pieces. And that's really the only thing that ties the mount to the plate. This is still a little wobbly, but the more I tighten these two, it'll work out. And that wasn't very good light, but that's just what you end up with. Let's see if I can turn that enough you can see it. There we go. Just don't have a lot of light in here. We don't need it with the servers. There's how it mounts. This is this is the pivot point, and this is one of the screws, and the other side would have the other one. And it, to me, it's a very good mount. It says 66 pounds. Not sure I put 66 pounds on it. It also says 42 inch. Not sure I do a 42 inch. Uh, if I wanted a 42 inch, I'd probably get the bigger mount. And I have a video on how to install that. So the tilt is a little bit more difficult. As you can see, it does this. It kind of, that's kind of a natural thing. If you want it like that, you just tighten this down. And you want to tighten all four of them, of course. But you loosen them. Just use one bolt to get it how you want it. So, and I'm going to leave it about right there, which is naturally where it's settled. There we go. So it's ready to go. And it's a tilt that I want. When I stand here, that's about right for me. So there we go. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.